Hey Smogon, I'm Bears fan 092 back with another RNG abuse video. This time with the basic concept of uh, the calibration phase. With the data gathered from this procedure, you, you will learn how to take how long it takes for you to start up your game in terms of delay in seconds. You can then use this data to know when you should reset your DS to hit a particular t target time and delay. All right, first off, save in a place where you can catch a wild Pokemon and easily check its IVs. Then reset your game in zero seconds of the upcoming minute. Make sure your DS is synchronized with the external clock with the seconds reading so you, you know when to reset. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but um, I use my Windows Vista computer, computer clock. You know, it gives me a fairly clear seconds reading. And when that seconds reading hits zero, I soft reset. So I will get back to you when it gets to zero since I feel like waiting for, wasting 40 seconds of this video time. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're almost at zero seconds, so I will soft reset momentarily. Excuse me. Alright, now you pretty much need to mash A like as hard as you can. You know, load the game pretty much as fast as you can. Once you get in game, speed doesn't matter quite as much. Okay. There we go, game's all loaded up. Alright, now capture a Pokemon. Because I'm using an IV check action replay code, I can do this process wherever I want to in the in-game world. If you don't have access to such a code, try an area with level 50 or above Pokemon. Alright, now get immediately into a battle with a wild Pokemon and catch it. And I have a sweet center, so I can do that fairly quickly. Hold on. I pray to God this doesn't have a zero IV since this since that fucks up my action replay code. You don't need master balls, it just Helps for speed's sake. Okay, so now we need to check the IVs in nature. So I will go do that now. Alright, it's careful nature, and I hope there's not a zero IV somewhere. Yeah, there's not. Okay, so we have our IVs, I'm not sure how I can see them, but the first six TMs are the IVs. So now we need to plug this data into RNG Reporter's initial seed finder, which will give us our second in seconds in delay, and we'll record that data. So, here we go. Set this to careful. Set the oh shit! I, I didn't take. I didn't keep. I didn't uh, record what date. All right, so July fourteenth, night. I'm gonna guess we reset it at thirty-seven. We can always check. We can always just guess and check, and hope we'll find our seat eventually. Input our IVs. Yep, I guess I guess our minute right. So, as you, I'm not sure how we can see this, but it says seconds of 14, a delay of 5.98. So it took 14 seconds from, you know, from the time I soft resetted at zero seconds and loaded at 14. So it tells me that it takes 14 seconds to load my game, and it tells me that the that the delay I got on this particular trial is 5.98. Okay, so you were you would record these at like some table somewhere and then you could you would repeat this process many times course changing your date and stuff and then 
you would try to narrow this down, the seconds down to one possible, one possibility, and you want to keep your delay within a range of ten. And um, yeah, and that should allow you to abuse for other processes. You might have noticed that your delays are only even or odd. This generally changes when you add or remove a third generation Pokemon cartridge like Fire Red or Ruby. I suggest that you make a note whether your delays are even or odd when you have a third generation cartridge in or out of your DS. Alright, so what do we do with this data? It's fairly simple. I ripped this part straight out of the original post of the research thread. If it always takes you 15 seconds from reset to continue and the seed of the spread you are trying to hit is at the 30 se 35 second mark, you will need you will know that you need to reset at the 20 second mark. Of course, you'll find it you'll need to find a seed that utilizes the de the delay range that you found while calibrating. And that should do it. With this now in hand, you have the ability to begin doing all the other RNG abuse processes.